<clears throat> oh, game's over, I guess. I mean, it seemed over right from tip. Raptor fans, we haven't seen basketball in over a week, and we were all hyped to watch our Raptors get back in action tonight against the Charlotte Hornets. Well, that was awful. In basically all aspects. Offensively, you could tell early on the team couldn't make the shots. Now you were hoping they would find it as the game went along. That was not the case. <clears throat> Defensively, they were all over the place. And you also got to credit Charlotte for making some tough shots as well. But the Raptors defensively were just an absolute gong show. And more specifically, the starting unit was really bad. You know, I don't have the very specific details as I usually do because this game was just was that bad. You lost 125 to 93. You lost by 32 points. Reminds me a lot. Of that New Orleans Pelicans game. Where you just don't have it in every aspect. Now, is this a product of the first game back after the All-Star break? Sure, possibly. But this is also their first game back from the All-Star break. I don't think they played yesterday. With the loss, the Raptors are now 32-26 and 26 on the season. We hear before tip-off today <clears throat> that OG Ananobi has a fractured ring finger. And that's not good. Is he, is he going to be out for a little while now? And that's one of your very important rotation pieces. Offensively, we know OG percentage-wise is having a down season, but you know what you're going to get defensively, and he's always that threat. And today, you really missed it. Like, you, you saw the gaping hole that OG left behind. Because I'm going to run through the plus-minuses of all the starters, right? So first off, Fred Van Vliet was 3 of 12 in the game, was minus 40. People are like, well, plus minus stats, you know, don't, 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 really, don't really do justice on that. No, maybe not. But when it's minus 40, yeah, it's a problem. Gary Trent Jr. shot 5 of 12. He was minus 32. Scotty Barnes had a great game, but I mean, it goes for not because your team lost by 32 points. 28 points, 5 boards, a dime, shot 13 of 18. You could tell early on he was in the flow of the offense, had a couple steals in the game, but he was a minus 24 while well, he was out there. Now Pascal Siakam shot 3 of 13. Him and Fred didn't even get in double figures, and Pascal was a minus 29 while well, he was on the floor. And if you want to keep going, Kem Birch missed all three field goal attempts, and he was a minus 21 from uh, oh, when he was out there. So... The best starter when it comes to plus minus is Birch at minus 21. That's just not going to be good enough. You know, one guy in OG is not going to change that, that entire complexity. The Raptors just did not play well tonight. Now, great teams find ways to bounce back. And you get the opportunity because you play tomorrow in Atlanta. However... Your offense has to start clicking again. Now, the good thing about the Toronto Raptors is that there are so many different weapons that they can beat you with, right? Because Gary could go off uh, tomorrow or Fred can go off tomorrow. But the problem is you got to defend. And tonight it was a lot of switches, a lot of back cuts that they were just beating the Raptors on. They were just out to lunch, it looked like. Now, that can change on any given night. But that was awful. The team shot 44% from the field, 26% from three. They made six threes. Was it six for 23? And they had like, what, 14 threes or something, some 15, something like that? That's a massive discrepancy. Another one is the free throw shooting. Raptors had 23 attempts, and I believe they only had nine. Yeah, the Raptors made 56%. They missed 10 free throws. That's awful. They shot 55% from the field. It felt like in the, especially in the second quarter, where they, I believe they dropped 42, where they could not miss. It felt like they just could not miss at all. And the Raptors were having a tough time making shots. That's how the league got built up as much as it was. 55% from the field, 38% uh, from three-point range, and 67% from the line, but only on nine attempts. You missed three, whatever. It's not a big deal. 
They also rebounded the Raptors by 16. Minus 16 on the glass. You were minus 16 in the system. I believe it was like 34 to 18 in, in moving the basketball. You know, minus 12 in points in the paint, minus 6 in second chance points. The Raptors just did not play a good basketball game in really any aspect. Yeah, they, they turned the ball over 16 times. That's more than usual. They gave up 125. That's more than usual. They only scored 93, a lot lower than usual. The team just did not have it in every way. Now, the great thing about sports is you could lose by 32 or you could lose by one. It's one loss. But as I mentioned earlier, great teams in sports find ways to bounce back after tough games. And the great thing about this is the Raptors have, a, have to have a short memory because they're on the back-to-back -back in Atlanta tomorrow. You out there, you put up a good performance, then we're talking a little bit differently. A good team rebounds after an abysmal one like we saw tonight. I'm not going to talk much more about this game. I than that the Raptors never led in this game. And they were down by at the biggest lead for the, for the Hornets was 41. The only good thing you can take is Scotty B. And I hate to say it like that because Scotty was great, but... Once, those, once you start racking up the numbers, you were already down by 20, 25. So it's like, ah, I mean, he was good early on. Don't get me wrong. Trying to hang the Raptors around. But the team struggled, man. They, they struggled keeping the, bucket, keeping the ball out of the bucket. That is bottom line. And Atlanta is a team that can score. They have guys who can beat you so many different ways. Trey Young is a wizard when it comes to on-ball and off-ball stuff. When he has the ball in his hand, he not only can he beat you with, with the range he can shoot, his court vision is incredible. And you got to face him tomorrow after you, just, after you just allowed 125. Let's see what the team is capable of. That's really all I can say. It's a 7.30 tip-off in Atlanta looking to bounce back. I don't want to talk anymore about this game because really what more can you break down? Well, this guy did was this, this guy was bad, this guy. The whole team was terrible. And that's all there is to it. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoy the video and not, and I mean not, the game tonight, smack that like button. Do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button. You guys not already comment down below. Thoughts on the video, thoughts on the game. What'd you like? What'd you not like from today's game? If you're the Toronto Rappers, the Twitter link is down below. So follow up, send me a DM. Do all that great stuff. The Instagram link is also down there. So follow up there if you guys have not done so already. And I will talk to you guys at Leafs Edition tomorrow night as they are in Detroit. Taking on the Red Wings and as for the Toronto Maple Leafs, as I mentioned, they are in, uh, or sorry, the, Ra the Maple Leafs are in Detroit and as for the Toronto Raptors, they are in Atlanta taking on the Hawks, looking to rebound after this abysmal performance tonight. Big time, they, 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 they got to figure it out. And it all starts tomorrow in Atlanta, all right? So thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and definitely not the game tonight. We will talk to you guys then.